Hi, so Unreal recently showed a new demo when they presented the new iteration of the engine, Unreal Engine 5, and how it can render insane amount of triangles per frame. They claim to do 20 million triangles per frame, and they also claim that it takes around uh, one triangle per pixel, and it looks like this. Yeah, so basically each uh, triangle has its own color, so it looks like noise, but uh, what it means really is that each pixel has um, a separate triangle. Well, first of all, they render at 1440p, and that requires only three million triangles, not 20, so they like around uh, five to seven times rendering more than they need to but that's not the point it's still very very impressive so and some uh, news um, tech journalists think that uh, it's meant to ridicule web developers well i am a web developer so i thought hey we can do that right we can do that as well so i built a prototype uh, here it is and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to render a web page and each pixel will be its own separate diff. Let's see how it works. Okay, so it renders pretty swiftly. It only takes around a second to render this Google web page. And uh, how it works, it actually each pixel in here is its own separate diff. We can randomize, so again, it only takes 300 milliseconds um, to change color so you can be sure that it actually is a pixel per, per frame. Yeah, we can also, okay, let me go back. No, no, this is not. How do I return? Yeah, you can click here, right? Yeah, reset. Okay, so yeah, if we resize the web page, you can see that they actually dynamically lay, laid out, and as uh, there is the, the lines run out of space, uh, they get moved to the wrapped to the next line and so on. So this is actually a dynamic page with a flex box and whatnot. And if we zoom in, we can make sure that everything is actually a triangle. Let me so we can highlight what I do uh, if we have if I have a gap between pixels. It's not a separate div. It's it's separate div, but it's one for the whole gap, right? So like here, it it is like sixteen pixels, right? But a colored pixel, each one is, is its own colored div. So we can click on it, for example. We can see you can see so its coordinates, color, and yeah, background color, and it has styles for with one pixel height, one pixel. So pretty simple stuff, right? So we can. Turn it on, turn it off. Yeah, you cannot really see that. We can delete it, and the whole line moves to the left, and so on. So, but yeah, uh, that's the idea. Let me reset it back, restore the color. So, yeah, uh, that's a kind of performance that you can expect. So, 700 milliseconds for a page. I uh, and it only takes 30,000 divs to render this page. We are not rendering white pixels, only color, right? So, if we take something a little more complex like this one. So it takes more time. This time it's around, should be around 100,000 pixels or divs, sorry. Yeah, and it takes nine seconds. And the frames per second, if we have to render it each frame would be 0 0.1 <laughs> frame per second. But actually Chrome is pretty slow with those. If we go to Firefox, it should be faster. Uh, but fastest of all is actually, yeah, five only five seconds. Fastest fastest of all is Safari. Surprisingly, um, yeah, it only takes one point five milliseconds, right? Seconds, sorry, and it almost hits a frame per second. Not not quite, but almost. Okay, and the more most complex page I have uh, to demo to you is this one. So it's three. 100,000 divs and it's rendered in five seconds, just five seconds. We can randomize so you can see that each one is indeed its own separate div and it's colored independently and laid out independently. 
uh, there is no trickery we can resize the window and see how it resizes so you can see there is pretty consistent fps here right and we can scroll scroll is faster scrolling is pretty smooth actually yeah resize is is pretty bad um, let me show you resize in in color in actual color yeah it looks like this i think it's pretty beautiful so yeah uh, not only unreal can do that web, we web developers can do that as well with web technologies you just saw how powerful web technologies is they, they have no problem rendering even 300,000 divs um, it takes pretty small amount of time let's see it again especially if you're using safari and i'm using uh, well let me show what i'm using uh, this is pretty decent uh, mac Mac Mini, right? Uh, Intel Core i7. I have a uh, desktop class video card, Radeon RX. So yeah, this is, I'm not sure how it compares with PlayStation 5. I think it compares, um, okay-ish, right? Well, yeah, uh, it's comparable. Let's say it's comparable. Uh, so yeah, I, I can act should be able to select actually inside it, can I? No. Okay, I think I just killed my, <laughs> my computer. No. No, no selection for me. Okay, so th that's unfortunate. But um, here we have it. Uh, web technologies, uh, beauty and power of web technologies. We can do anything that specialized uh, C++ software can do as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.